In today's Carl Guru's review, we're testing this, Kia's new shooting brake, the Proceed. And as ever, if you like this review, please do subscribe and don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss another. With the latest Proceed, Kia is following Mercedes' lead by offering a car in the mould of the sleek CLA shooting brake. And just like a CLA costs more than an A-Class, so the Proceed costs more than the seed hatchback in a state. So does it offer enough extra visual allure to justify the added expense? Well, looks-wise, I think it's stunning. It sits five millimetres lower than the standard seed, and although it's no wider, it looks so much sportier. My favourite details are the rear bumpers, dual exhausts, red brake calipers, and just look at these LEDs. Lovely. Of course, a shooting brake is supposed to offer function as well as flair. At 594 litres, the Proceed's boot is only 11 litres smaller than a Volkswagen Golf Estates and 31 litres smaller than the Seed Sport Wagon. And these extra storage compartments are genius, so it's off to a good start. The downside is the boot opening itself is smaller than the Seed Sport Wagon and the load lip is quite high. Plus, the sloping roof line does mean that getting tall or bulky loads in might be a bit of a challenge. Here, the roof line is lower than in the Seed Sports Wagon, and while for me it doesn't impinge on headroom, I am only five foot six. I think if you've got anyone over six feet tall, they are going to start to struggle on longer journeys. So, there are three trims to choose from, and whichever one you go for, they all feel upmarket. This is a really well put together cabin, and just look at this steering wheel, it's gorgeous. And these bolstered seats, which are standard on our GT test car, are supremely comfortable. I also really like the separate buttons and knobs for the aircon, which make it much easier to tweak on the move than using the touchscreen. My only gripe is over the shoulder visibility is quite restricted, thanks to that sloping roof line. As I said, the Pro Seed sits 5mm lower than the Seed Hatch and Estate, and it also features independent multi-link rear suspension, as well as 18-inch wheels over the standard 17-inch ones. The Pro Seed comes with front-wheel drive only, and as I said, it is nice and grippy, and the steering is good and responsive. However, if you're slightly overzealous with the throttle, it does tend to suffer from torque steer. Our GT test car has the most powerful engine available, the 1.6-litre turbo petrol, and it feels super punchy, and its broad speed of torque means overtaking is a doddle. It's pretty quick too, with 0 to 62 miles an hour taking 7.2 seconds. However, it is slightly let down by the automatic box. To give this car more of a kick, I found myself constantly having to press this sport button to make the throttle more responsive and give the steering a bit more weight. All proceeds get a host of safety equipment, including autonomous emergency braking, lane keeping assistance, high beam assist and a driver attention warning system. And the two higher spec cars gain blind spot monitoring and speed limit recognition. The fact that it's not surprising to see a Kia offering this kind of equipment just goes to show how far it's come in recent years. In fact, the very existence of the Pro C would have been incomprehensible a decade ago. The fact that it builds such a car and now builds it so well is yet more evidence of just how fast things can move in the automotive industry. This, remember, is a Kia, whose closest rival isn't a budget super mini or even a mainstream hatchback, but a super stylish shooting brake built by Mercedes-Benz. I, for one, can see why you might be tempted. But would you really choose it over a CLA shooting brake? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe if you've enjoyed this video, as well as checking out the Car Guru's UK YouTube channel for plenty more new and used car reviews. And when it comes to choosing your next car, you can easily find great deals from top-rated dealers by visiting cargurus.co.uk.